Arkansas. Pretty far from the ocean, though. Get it on the way back. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell smoke more. Yeah. Distinctive here. Yeah, that ain't good. He's afraid to This is through. the kind of truck we're going to have to Sweet. deliver our stuff. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, just like that. There it is. That's all I want to see. Yeah. That's quite a quite a rig. Yeah, let's go take a peek. All right. Check our load, see if that's still on there. See what we lost. Well, a few people here at the museum. Yeah. That's good to see. We know we didn't lose that table saw because you'll never lose that thing. Oh, that thing. Things like a bad penny. Oh, Jesus. You got a wood box on here. Yeah, I threw that I threw that on there, threw a couple saws in it. We got all the Elgins, right? Yeah, we got that. We got the ladder, we got all the piping. Twelve back of you hoo you <laughs> Yeah. You like the you -ho. Yeah, sometimes. This cord seen better days. Well, you know, might get another few places out of it. Yeah, yeah, we will. All right. Is this mountain ash? Mountain ash, yeah. What is up, guys? Joe Holland here. I got the man, the myth, the legend, Donnie with me. <laughs> we are excited because this is... It's really happening now. We made the one trip up to the Trapper's Cabin property, uh, oh, geez, probably about a month ago, drop off some boards. Yeah. Since then, if you guys have been following the channel, we've been hired at work milling, cutting trees, and cutting all the lumber for, for the build. We're almost done with that. We've had quite a few setbacks, but. Yeah, but weather being one of them, and yeah. old age being the other. Yeah, a lot of breakdowns, but, yeah. but we are, uh, we're heading up now to do the earthwork. We were able to hire one crew to come up with a machine. Uh, they're from down east, so they're crazy as hell. That's the only bunch of dubs you could get to come up into yeah, the nobody, wilderness. Nobody else would be no, foolish enough to come No one would be fool enough, foolish enough to take a job like this. No. But we're taking a little leg stretch break. We're four hours into the drive or already, or three or four hours into the drive. and. <coughs> <coughs> Donnie and I both got the <coughs> crappy crud in our lungs. Donnie just come down with it the other day. He, he tested COVID, but he, he's negative, so he's negative, good. So. But we're stretching our legs, and we always like to stop and look at this lumbard here. Yeah, this is quite a quite a machine. I, it, you know, it's hard to believe that this could tow so many skids full of logs out of the main main woods. It's unbelievable. But if you guys aren't familiar, if you're not from Maine, you might not be familiar with the Lombard. Uh, it's a steam log hauler. They've made them, I think they did convert some over to fuel eventually, but yeah. the first ones were all steam engines. And it's basically like having a steam locomotive in the middle of the woods. And it hauled out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cords of, of, uh, of logs, pulp and, and logs both. And it was the original, the very first track machine ever made. These tracks right here were invented. I think it was Waterville, right? Uh, pretty it was, sure. It was around that area somewhere. I can't really yeah. remember. But it was, uh, it's the first track machine ever made, invented in Maine. And every tank that's ever fought in the war Every caterpillar, every excavator, every bulldozer, every track machine that you've ever seen derived from these tracks that were made to build this Lombard in Maine, you know, uh, at the turn of the 18, 18, I guess before the 1900s. Uh, this one 
This one, I think. What? What's this? This one's got the record, right? Largest train. Jesus. This is how many? Thirty-seven thousand seven hundred and ten feet of log scale. Huh. Eighteen thousand feet per scale per turn. Six thousand two hundred twenty-five feet per sled. Three million four hundred thousand total log scale off of this machine. And, they, and the fuel was cost two foot. Three hundred and fifty cords. Three hundred and fifty cords of wood to produce the steam to power this thing. It hold five hundred and fifty-one sleds. Now that's quite a train. A record for one machine in a season, January 11th to March 6th, running days and night shifts. In one year, 1907, this thing ran, it did it all with, in 53 days, it lost six days, four hours and 15 minutes. Wow. And in that season, it hold 3.4 million feet. Feet of lumber, or logs rather. Yeah. Wow. And the savings by the use of this Lombard is 62 horses would have been required. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at the, I mean, how the, how the heck would, this is so heavy, something broke down. How the heck do you work on anything this Jeez. heavy? And back then they didn't have the equipment to, you know, work with that we do now. So that's quite an ingenious thing. He built 83 of these things at the Waterville Iron Works, Alvin Lombard. <coughs> the first ones were steered by horses and ran on runners. And then after that, they, they put skis on there. Yeah, Waterville, Maine, Joey. You see it? Yeah, right here. Which is quite a bit yeah. south of us now. Yeah. He built 83 of them. Hmm. Travel speed six to seven miles an hour. Yeah. What gets me is, you know, middle of winter, northern Maine, and this is what they sat on to steer. Hopefully that steam, they got a little bit of heat from the back of that steam. All right. Um, you know, you got a guy up front steering this thing, and you got a guy up back feeding the wood into the boiler. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at that. Quite a heavy machine to have in the North Main Woods. Fed it right there, maybe? Yeah. And this is the wood box here. Yeah. Break. That's quite, quite something. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. But yeah, we figured it'd be a good spot to stop and stretch our legs and take a break. Take a break. Let you folks know what we're doing. We're gonna meet our crew in the town of uh, Portage Lake or Portage, I guess. I don't know if it's called Portage Lake or Portage, the town. Just Portage. Yeah. But we're meeting the crew we got coming in from down east there. <laughs> It's all we could get, yeah. you know. So, yeah, so you don't gotta take what you can get. Take what you can get, you know. And these, you, these guys, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you do. So. I think we're giving them fifty bucks for the four days. Yeah. Are we giving them that much? Yeah, well, you know, I don't. We might we ask. We better for, see how they work out. We guys. might have to ask for change at the yeah, end. Yeah. Yeah, but it's quite a crew, a bunch of dubs, but we take what we can get. But right. the the goal of this trip. What's the goal of this trip, Donnie? Well, we got to clear the lot where we're going to build, take down a bunch of trees and uh, make a area, and then we're going to, we have to have a wastewater disposal system, which was uh, designed, I guess, by Lurk or somebody. Yeah. And we got to put that in for just the wastewater for the kitchen sink. We're going to have an outhouse. So we don't need any septic system for that. But so anyway, so we're gonna get that in, and and hopefully 
uh, they will check it before we leave with the machine and we can cover it up and and go from there but uh, we're gonna be moving some gravel we're gonna be moving some shale which I don't know if you guys know what shale is if you live outside of Maine but it's uh it's like a soft like a soft rock I guess that that's flat and it kind of shatters and then, yeah, it's very hard on tires when it oh, before yeah. it's packed but it, once it packs it's like cement yeah we're gonna get that put that down for base and then we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, gravel up above it so we're, we found a couple pits that we're allowed to haul some free shale out of and then there's a couple pits where we're gonna be hauling gravel out of at three dollars a yard we'll pay the logging company we'll haul it ourselves and load it ourselves and everything and and send them a check at the end of the whole thing yeah but that's the plan for this trip yeah but i just want to say if any of you are interested in the logging from way back you want to come to Patton, maine and and come to this lumberman's museum it is awesome we came here what two yeah. years ago i or? think it was geez yeah, yeah. and uh it's a place you could spend if you you know to look at everything you got to spend a good deal of time here and uh there's some really interesting stuff so, and and the drive up here is a beautiful drive up to Patton. yeah and uh so if you want something to do and you're interested in this kind of stuff why you want to hit this up hit this up well we're going to get back on the road uh might shake hands with the unemployed first been a little bit of a long drive and then next time you see us we oh i guess we're gonna stop in ashland right fuel up yeah we gotta fuel up yeah see uh there's a girl there named miss mcgee that we usually stop and talk to at the fueling station and we're gonna pick up a bag of peas oh yeah we got to oh yeah vegetables yeah on this a trip. little bit of vegetables yeah and then after that uh you'll see us up in portage and hopefully meeting up with that Downey's crew if they found their way over. But yeah. wait till you see this group of dubs. It's all we can afford and it's the only fools we can get to come in the woods with us. Yeah. Stay tuned, you ain't gonna wanna miss it. Well, we picked up a hitchhiker along the way. I got this great big bee stuck to my arm and we figured we'd pull over before we get him too far from his hive. But it's got some pollen on his legs picked him up maybe a mile back i hope it can make its way home yeah. what do you think donnie uh, i don't know I'll give you that well they flip him off he's stunned yeah i don't know if he can make it or not doesn't want to fly it i felt it hit my wrist pretty hard It's on the mirror now. <coughs> oh, we got a picture come through. There's the machine. These birds from uh, from down east picked it up. One thing about it, these guys from down east, they they do know two things that I know of. They know how to swear and they know how to fish. <laughs> That's the truth. I can't argue either yeah, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. They do know how to work too. That's Oh yeah, I've heard they're worth really Oh, nope, uh, the bee just flew off. Good. Right, we're back on track. Oh yeah. No, they do know how to work. That's the one thing and that's that's one thing I've always liked about down east guys is they go hard at it, whether they're they go hard at it the night before and they don't matter, they'll be up first thing in the morning going hard at the fishing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I guess. I've never met Brandon heard a lot about him and uh, obviously I've never met his his friends that are coming up so that'll be uh, a treat to, uh, to meet them and, and uh, so we'll, they got the machine loaded you said yeah they get they sent a picture of it loaded we're gonna see them okay pretty soon imagine so, we're probably 15 miles outside of Ashland and we're gonna pull over and get some fuel, fuel up the generator, fuel up the extra can, and then we're gonna see Mitz McGee. Mitz is over here. If she's there, we'll see her and pick up some frozen peas. What is it uh, from Ashland to 
Portage is probably, what, 20 miles? Yeah, I think so, yeah. 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 So, this is the third trip we've made up here. Yep. Yep. And I still don't know how to get there. Me neither. We're hoping, we're hoping some of the breadcrumbs are still down from last trip. Yeah. But this is where we deer hunt right here. We're in Masanis, near the Oxbow. Oh, those clouds are pretty over there. Yeah. We're going to be driving right through a mill here. The main road cuts the mill right in half. Well, we just made it to Ashland. Had to wait for that potato harvester to go through and we're gonna stop in and fill her up. A little bit of fuel, throw a little fuel in the back and make our last stop before we head into the woods or into Portage, I guess. We might grab a something burger, to eat, yeah. something to eat Portage way, if, if they're open. First, we're gonna stop in here and see if old Mitz is here. Passenger. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, yeah. that is amazing. Is so what cool. a small so world. Up here now? I, I grew up in Marcel. Okay. Their son and I, we lived in that area for years. Yeah. And then he got cancer, so we moved down to Freeport. My daughter's down there, and we were at Boston for the hospital for okay. years. Okay. And, um, yeah. He's a wicked people. nice guy, and I did oh. quite a lot of work for him. I built a van and did some rent. The nice barn, you did a darn So you know job. the barn? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Donnie built it. My yeah. horse has been down there. No way, that's yeah. awesome. What a small world. Yeah, I'm glad we get to talk to each other. Yeah, you too. Have a great day. Good to see ya. What a small world. It sure is. Yeah. Oh, Mitz. That's amazing. Yeah, Mitz wasn't here today, but that was really cool, this lady. She asked where I was from. I told her Jefferson. She said, oh, geez, you know, the so-and-so. Yeah. And, -so. and yeah. I said, well, I, I'm not as good on names as I am faces. Yeah. But but Donnie would. And we come out and sure as yeah. heck fire, Donnie built her, the barn for him. Yeah, built the horse barn. And barn. she said, oh, I know that barn real well. I had my horses in it. It's a nice barn. Yeah. It stood for about a year and a half where it fell over. <laughs> That's not uh, true. It's still standing it's today. It's still standing, but nobody's ever used it. Really? Since. Yeah. Where it, is it? Do I know right, it? Yeah, it's right across from, uh, oh boy. Let's see. It's all go over? past the townhouse. Yeah. The old townhouse. And go down, down the hill, past the townhouse, and it's on the right-hand side. You know where the trues lived? Yeah. The next place on the right. Okay. It's, the barn sits out next to the road. The house sits way back. You can hardly see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Huh. Small world. Yeah. We're over four hours from home and running into people that know people of people. I'll be done. Wicked. That's something. Yeah, it seems like you do that an awful lot. Yeah, you, you do, know, especially. You go to places and, and uh, you, you know... You see somebody, you know. Doesn't matter where you are. No, it doesn't matter. But we're here at the IGA in Ashland, and we're gonna stop and get our last second stuff that we forgot, and then we're gonna go see the boys and go meet our, our crew that we hired. Yeah, yeah. Rag Dag Bunch. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Bunch of dubs. Yeah. All right, Donnie, we're rolling into town of Port Edge. Yeah. And we're about to meet these down east dubs yeah that'll be interesting yep they said that they'd work for fifty dollars all three of them total for wow. four days wow that's probably good good income yeah for them. and they you, he, he, i hear you get what you pay for so yeah. let's go let's go meet these guys i don't see their vehicle no oh there's the excavator right there okay yeah wait till you meet these guys there they are right there there they are. <laughs> we were already broken down or something. Well, you get, you know, you, you get what you pay for. And these were the only guys we 
these were the only guys we could hire. Just contract guys. Still good, Joe. Yeah. Nice. Would you break something already? Yep. Oh man. Huh. Backwards, Susan, about 18 inches. Watch your hand. I can't tell it. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, this is the good deep. Stop. Stop. Find it? Forward? No, right there. Not good. Yeah, don't go back. <laughs> Nothing here. How low is it? Right there, yeah. Oh, he's got it. Right in the middle of the trim. Yeah. Do you want me to move up? Go ahead, okay. just a whisker if you don't. Right. Move. What's happening? You're on boy? camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, is this your kit? Yeah. A little bit more. Stop right there. Never been used. You know how to use these? You yeah. got a license? Time or two. Thing? Absolutely. But if this is the only one we have to do, I got, going, I in, got going in and out, oh it'll be a success. Oh my god, can you imagine? Or are you guys about to go up the same road we just came out? Uh, uh, so we don't most really likely. Know. <laughs> Rocky Brook? No, uh, I I already got it right here. Need a battery? You're good. All set. Scoop just a little bit left so I can get it. <laughs> this is funny grease dot. Give it to us. You got a ring pretty good? <laughs> it, it's, yeah, about a, it's, it's about a four oh. ply. I don't think I need a lot. Yeah. Get her? Uh, <laughs> if it fails, call Napa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, time to eat a cheeseburger, Joe. Yes, We're sir. starving. Well, I got you an extra one. You guys can start on each side, meet in the Good. middle. Perfect. Well, you look at this load. Oh, yeah. Kind of a ragtag load, ain't it? That's some infiltrators, Cameron. Yeah. That's what that is. Oh, I got you. That's what Wayne sells every one of them. Man, yeah. that don't look healthy. What's that? The sky. Oh, yeah. boy. That, Donnie, you're what, looking at you a rain shower to keep passing the next no, three days? I don't trust them bastards. <laughs> I stopped well, looking midsummer. Hopefully they're wrong. I stopped looking weather midsummer. Oh, absolutely. I, I said, Cameron, what do we got coming? He said, wind, rain, thunder, yeah. lightning, yeah. possibility of hail. Pretty Perfect. much cover the bases. Yeah. Yeah, Inch or two of snow would be sat. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty. She's ready. Nice. You brought all sorts of fuel, huh? Yeah, I got chainsaw. Beautiful. Four, uh, four diesel fuel, one gasoline, thing of fresh water, two Saint chainsaws, transit, barn chain, rakes. What do you think of this project we're on? Pretty excited about it, really. Yeah. To be honest with you, I love it up here. I don't know what it is about up here. Yeah, we're it, in a pretty it, good it's, area. It, it's no different than Chamberlain or anywhere. It's just getting out, out beyond everything, you yeah. know? Yeah, and when you're here, you're kind of here, too. Oh, yeah. You ain't close enough to be anywhere else. This is kind of either, cool. I guess. Is that far away from anything, really. It's nice because we're going to be close to Eagle, close oh, to yeah. Portage, close to about everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, did you guys see that? Yeah. Did you guys see that giant potato digger? Yes. Oh. We followed that out yeah. on them. Before. Oh, you were behind them? They did pass them. Yeah. Yeah, we followed almost the whole way across. Oh, so you must have seen us on the road. Yeah, we see with we, the IGA. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey. 
Oh, we ordered uh, five cheeseburger baskets. Burger baskets. Yeah. I got a flat of them and a flat of Gatorade. Another flat. I got like two flats of them. I got five gallons of fresh water. Flat of Gatorade. Probably that, I'll just set that back down then. Yeah. Just get whatever you want for the, for right now or the ride in. Survival kit for the evening. <laughs> he said we gotta clean the mice traps. That's all right. He, uh, he, I might have mentioned uh, something about mice. Yeah, he, he gave us directions to the camp, so it, it sounded like it's not bad. Five miles past us, we're good to go. What? Oh, the road? Yeah. Five, his camp, five miles past. In where we're at? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah we're working. Where we're, where we're building Joe. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see, yeah that's yeah. perfect. Now, a couple of them, them. You told him then he drives another 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he thought we were closing. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have said five miles, he wouldn't have walked out. <laughs> that one. Uh, well, lucky I, I didn't die I, guar I guarantee you would have grabbed it anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I can't think. I got that transit levels, and I brought chains and straps and. I brought my logging chaps, my helmet, and all that sh wedges. So we're gonna look. Are we gonna look official? Well, whoever's on camera should could look official. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna tear us up no matter what, fellas. You know it. it don't matter how no, good we look. Uh, all joking aside, you don't want nothing up in there, 20 no, miles you don't. off the road. You yeah. know what I mean? No, you're you don't. Be thinking halfway. Thank you. Are you bring my girlfriend out to the woods with you? Every time I go, go see a streamer. Car, that yep. <laughs> I should be used to it by now, but she usually it jumps me every single time. Absolutely. And she sees them every time? We we she calls them right up. Yeah. I mean during hunting season they get a little timid so it's not as frequent, but during the summer or whatever, she does that thing. Huh. That's the type of girlfriend I'd like to have in the woods too. Yeah. <laughs> Though, but she's always good at guns, so. He's already got it. Donnie, that's looking kind of wild over yonder. Yeah, that. Which way are we going? We're going that way, <laughs> right towards it. Well, if you guys haven't figured it out by now, these this crew is very far from being dubs. We, we, Brandon and I talking on the phone the other day, he said it'd be funnier than hell setting you guys up like that, saying we got a crew from down east, the only bunch of dubs we can get in here, yeah, and then roll up and see these birds. This is, as you can see, they don't come much better than this crew right here, as far as being able to fix anything, do anything, and work through anything, so we got it out for us. The Jake breaks on up in the mountains there. I can still hear it. Yeah, she's roaring. She's roaring pretty good. We happen to be going right over there somewhere, so. Right underneath the bit? Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna stop dual circle probably by the time we get there. I heard Donnie but, say he didn't yeah. want to deal with any dust this weekend, so we'll right. take okay. care of that. But we got about an hour ride in from here. We gotta stop at a checkpoint first and sign in, and, and then uh, hopefully the roads are in good shape getting in there. And we're gonna get in, we're gonna get unloaded, and we're gonna get set up over at Mickey's camp. There's a really, really nice guy that that saw uh, last episode up here with the trapper's cabin, knew exactly where it was, knew where we were. Turns out we're neighbors up here. So he come down to the ice cream shop and introduced himself and he said, hey, while you guys are working on that camp, you don't have to sleep in tents if you don't want to. I got a camp next door, five miles down the road. So he offered it to us and normally I'd turn it down. And, but uh, but with, the, with these birds coming up and you know, Mickey's a nice, nice enough guy to offer that. We're going to take him up on it. So we're going to get set up tonight in Mickey's camp. Uh, we're going to get this thing unloaded. We might drop a tree or two. We'll see. Lightning might do it for us. Got and lights. That'd be cool. There ain't no, light, there so ain't we, no downtime, is there, Donnie? It's got lights. So we'll be working all night. Yeah. I brought some lights, too. Yeah. But we got a chance that we to get the plumbing inspected. I don't know if I want to get started on this because it ain't going to be a good YouTube video <laughs> if we start talking about this whole plumbing foolishness. I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. Yeah. So we're going to have about 
$3,000 into a sink drain that could just drain onto the top of the ground or into a five gallon bucket. Because in order to build this place, the only hold up on the permit was we have to have a leach field for our sink drain. Even if we don't want to put a sink in, still got to have a leach field for it. So we had to pay some guy to come up and design a field for us $1,500 later, and then buy a field $700 and some odd later. And We're over. Yeah, and then we, then we got to get it inspected too, and it can't be done by pictures. The worst part is we got an inspector. Brandon's dad's licensed to inspect in 30 towns and unorganized townships by the state of Maine, and they say no, we can't have him inspected. We can only have this one person that's registered to inspect and in that region territory, an organized township, must be something super special for this bucket of water we're gonna be pouring on the ground. So that's the state for you, it's a racket. It's a racket, no doubt about it. Anytime you get the state involved, permits, lurk, <coughs> it's a joke. It's for a sink drain. We have an outhouse that leaches poop and piss right into the ground, but we can't dump our sink water on the ground or into the ground. And we're not on a lake, we're not on a stream, we're nothing like that. It's just the woods. So, I guarantee you when we wake up in the morning with piss bottles full, they're getting dumped on the ground. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you one thing right now, it ain't gonna amount to much more than a piss hole in a snowbank. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, yep. that's my rant. <clears throat> I'm gonna end the rant right there, guys, on that. But it's just some foolish, you know, a couple grand into this build just for some stupid drain for a sink. <laughs> they could be done with a five gallon bucket and hose. Smells like rain, don't it, bud? That front of that truck don't smell like rain, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> smells, like a tra smells like a trapping <laughs> shed, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this guy's looking to take a little weight off my shoulders. You got a flat tire, too? <laughs> oh, jeez. We can get the frig out of here before we get another repair job. What are we gonna do? Stop at the checkpoint? Yeah, that's our next stop, and then okay. we're then we're golden. You guys good to go? Absolutely. Keep her under hundred. I don't think oh, we need well, anything, do we, Cameron? Donnie, Donnie said he's got donuts. We no, got all the food. Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday, morning. Good. Sunday morning. If you guys are still here, you get donuts. I've yeah. been waiting two years for these donuts. Yeah, I've been waiting two good. years. What's another good. night? Good. 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 Oh, cut it out. I Hopefully it's that same nice old lady. Yeah. It is. What's that? I think it is. Well, if it's not the trapper boy. That's right. I brought my pass this time. Oh, come on in. Yeah. I'm gonna pay for these two fellows behind me. They're coming in to help oh. us do some construction. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Danny? Go on. Go on. Donnie. You got the D right. Yeah, I did you hear what I said to Joe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said the Trapper Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Trapper Cabin Boys. Uh, awesome. Did you get to see the video on YouTube? My neighbor brought it over. No way. Yes. Oh, great. Because my voice is very distinct, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and thank you for the kindness. But as Jill pointed out, they were both nice. <laughs> <laughs> They were. This is the nicest checkpoint we've ever been through. Yeah. The well, further you know, north you get, the better it gets. You know what? We just like our job. I just yeah. like yeah. my job. Yeah, and some I work with two don't. other ladies. Yeah. One just called in with COVID oh, today. No. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Bummer. So, yeah. There's a cool picture up there. Old fella deer truck. Is that his double or triple? Wow, that's quite a is this gentleman with you guys? Yeah, they are. I'm going to pay for them. Hi. We can catch right, them on so the water. I'm not going to do the spiel for greater than 70 or less than Don't 18. Don't do the spiel. We got one greater than 81. No way. Yeah. Way to go, dude. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> not bad for spring chicken, huh? No, oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cut it out, Donnie. It's only, only as old as you feel. Here you are, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.
Hands, hands, let me see your hands. <laughs> That's our good gravel. That's the good gravel. Good gravel. Yeah. Lamb crack right there. Yeah. Tell them what we call them in Maine. What? Lambs. Maine's the only place that calls them lambs. People get mad. Yeah, well. Everywhere else calls them fawns. I said it's a fawn if they got spots on them. Right. That ought to be easy enough digging for you, know. Boys, oh boys. Crazy how this does that. Look at this. It breaks right off. Beautiful stuff. Twenty-five dollars yard back home right, right there, Donnie. You could be a fortune. In all honesty, Donnie, too. Anywhere they haven't scaffed off, we can mix in a little bit because a little bit of loamy and mud ain't gonna hurt nothing because that stuff's pretty much rock, you know right. what I mean? That's yeah, a lot of rock. It's gonna be a hell of a base. I just don't know how chowdery it's gonna be to travel on. Right. It, it will get, I mean, it's gonna look like that when it's done. But like I said, this stuff's three bucks a yard. We just gotta keep track. The closer stuff is free. I don't know because we're not on PNC I, right now. We, we gotta, uh, we gotta get the stumps rubbed off and see how much we're going to need because if we're going to need a ton it will wind the shale to it because it's close i say right. donnie well we're uh we're within a couple miles of camp we just stopped and looked at that pit that's on Irvin brothers land uh that's that's the stuff that we're going to pay for they said they they take three dollars a yard we just got to keep track of the yardage for them so it looks like good stuff looks like good top dressing stuff it's got a little bit of dirt a little bit of mud and mixed in but it's wicked shaley and rocky and and uh gravelly good stuff i think it's gonna be beautiful for top yeah, dressing i think it'll pack good when yeah. you know that you get a few rains on it and that mm. mud will lock those stones right in place yeah a couple inches of that would not hurt on top of everything so we'll be definitely buying some of that gravel while we're up here with the two trailers and the and the machine we'll haul in just about as much as we can and then we're gonna, right now, we're gonna go unload the machine and the trailer from Brandon and take a look at the little shale pit that's free from uh, Prentice and Carlisle. So that's a different uh, wood woodlot owner. And then we're gonna set Donnie up for the night in his tent. Donnie's gonna be tenting out. And we're gonna set Brandon and get <coughs> Cameron up in Mickey's place. And I'm gonna sleep right back there on that bed right in here so yeah. that's gonna be the accommodations for tonight we're all gonna be pretty darn comfortable i think and i'm gonna sleep out with the bears tonight yes you are yeah i'll have plenty of food in my tent so <laughs> they'll smell it yeah you like putting bacon all over oh, it, right? oh yeah geez they love bacon they go for the bacon instead yeah, of you right yeah. yeah so that's the story for today guys stay tuned more adventures coming up
Good. We're in. Made it, fellas. All right. Easy breezy. So, camp is going to be somewhere over here. See them stakes in there? This is coming down. This one, yeah. Yeah, this leaner's coming down. So she's gonna, I think, yeah, them lower ones, them lower four tight is our septic. And then this is the corner of our camp. This is a corner of the camp. That's a corner of camp. That's a corner of the camp. So it's facing that way. So this is the back side of the yep. camp? Yep, yep. Going that way. Yep, so I mean, some of these trees can stay but anything that can shade it or touch it, we're going to take down while we got that machine. Donnie wants this spruce. Uh, he wants that spruce going home. And I think he wanted that spruce for a collar tie or something like that. Then the rest of it's all just firewood. Well, this is, that's that's that. steak. That's steak. Yeah. And that's steak. Where's that forward steak? Uh, it's right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It might not be squared off yet. No, that's fine. So what we've got to do is everything here is gonna go yeah. and we're gonna back the trailers it's a it's gonna be ballsy backing down that slope like me just backing down now with no weight a little tricky where was that shale pit it's it's up the road we gotta go look at it because it's not much of a shale pit but it's not far it's like a couple hundred yards up the road so but like like all this is gonna go and we're gonna make a new road like that we don't care about anymore because so it's gonna We'll come off probably same spot. Yeah. We don't have to, but we can, we'll probably come off same spot, come in, and then do a big loop turnaround. So that way we're right. coming with trailers. So we're eventually gonna do that. Well, that's good to know. That means the wood needs to, the wood. We gotta pile. Yeah. Just pick a spot right now, like yeah. where it's not gonna be in the way, where we can get to it, where we can deal with it. Right over there. <laughs> yep. I'd say over in this country, Joe. Huh? Yep. This is the corner right here of the house. I'd say we'll get it back to these hardwoods somewhere over in this Perfect. Country. Yep, perfectly fine by me. And then uh, the only thing I'm not sure of is our road. i got to talk to Donnie about where the road's going to be. If you see a smarter way for the road, let me know. To, to come off that one? Yeah, or, or off the main road. I don't really care. I mean, this would drive you into the house. Right. So the road's got to kind of be over in there. And I, I'd like it to be pretty tight to the camp. I'm not about lugging far. You know honestly i hate to say it but they really ain't even wide enough here for i mean there was only 17 trees between here and the existing driveway you, you know what i mean if you're talking about coming in by the excavator and coming in this way donnie what no, do you know but and then headed down through there where his vehicle and okay hit that other road but and leave this island of trees no we don't have to leave it, it. Everything. That's what I that's what I think we should do is right everything. from the driveway right to the so it ain't gonna hit the camp, but this is you you know what I no, mean? No no, we're we're all ears. So yeah. take take everything here yeah. and everything here and a little bit that way past us. Yeah. I'm game. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean and, we got a full day of cutting. Leave, don't don't make a U turn driveway. I want a, a swing driveway, like or as much as we can get with a trailer. You know. Right. We're just going to have to come down by the camp here, come lower, and then swing or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, because the, the front of the camp's actually down there. Right. The farmer's porch. Is, and we could adjust this camp a hair, too. Yeah, I mean, we just temporarily. No, let's say you just point fingers and we'll. You know what I mean? Like, if we got to adjust the camp a little one way or the other. But yeah, like if the road comes down here, I don't even mind swinging it out further that way. Right. But there's nothing we care about saving for trees. Yeah. Um, what's the, what are we going to do with like the limbs and brush? What are we going to do with that, Joe? We can't burn it, can we? Unless, uh -huh. no, we can't do that. I don't want to could you in the winter, I wonder, or no? Jesus, I think we could do it in the winter, like a, pile, like a nice pile. I mean, is it to walk it and make a big pile way over? No, it's absolutely not. not. And I'll go up through there and yep. pile it up. Just, that, just that when we do this, I always want to have a plan. We'll let, we might as well limb them right up to the top to make firewood and everything. It's crazy to yeah. Or we can buck it up into 
It's going to kind of make a mess if we cut it all into 16 inch. No, I just no, leave it, make it like 12, foot, 12 foot and then we'll just stop, make a nice right, pile make a over pile there. Up. We'll cut on it as we so, need it. What me and Joe was thinking, going over. Is over there the best, Donnie? Because then we'll be out of the way. Todd would stack all the wood over kind right. of behind the camp over here out yeah. of the way, huh? Yeah. I don't think he'll have a hard time stumping this stuff. Yeah. <coughs> all right. There's some dangerous and, ones there. And the, and the like stakes, Cameron. The uh, stakes, in all honesty, once we get this opened up a little bit, <clears throat> right, I'll the guy, the guy's it. gonna have a little bit of a brainstorm right. of how the sun's gonna hit it and whatnot too. Right. Yeah. That looks like a widow maker there. Yeah, this right. one's the most dangerous one right here, well, that fellas. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, right above just, your head. That one's just hanging. I mean, he could almost come in here and just knock that, that one, one over. Push right over yeah. yeah. And then I this, this start. one. It's furless. Like this one's dead right here, Brandon. Right, that one's gotta go. I'm just yeah. thinking I mean, these fur really aren't they're dying. I think they're coming they'll... down. Right. Make a hole going that way, maybe. Yeah. Like like pile up pile all the good stuff wood. Over in there. Right. That's Where what would I... you put all the brush, Donnie? Can we pile it like there? Uh. Well, in all honesty, we might be able to if we cut them a couple jack furs right here. Yeah. Go right up through we'll, there. We'll put the logs close to, closer to here and then leave ourselves a runway to pull the brush over in that corner, okay. maybe. Okay. That works for us. Yeah. Just kind of, because I don't want to get too blocked when we get to a certain point. We're going to have enough room, but that will leave us enough room with all the logs, you know right. what I mean? Right. I mean, look at all the firewood in this yellow birch oh, right Jesus here. Christ. More firewood you can burn. Yeah. But and I then, don't know how the road is going to work out here. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing some hauling. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That thing not as, uh, as fast as you were hoping? <clears throat> it's pretty fast. It's got rabbit mode and turtle mode. I, it's got two-speed transmission on the track, and that's what I was trying to figure out. This looks like almost like it was a wash area when you get a lot of rain. I didn't know it. Yeah, and he's got that belly blade, so once he, once he stumps this, I think he ought to push it off and then haul in some... Absolutely. Yeah. Because there'll be some rain coming down off our driveway. Well, when do you want to start with, Cameron? Well, the thing we got to do is we got to get Donnie set up. He's sleeping in a tent tonight. So okay. we, we got to get him unloaded and set up. I can set we that should, up. We should find your, uh, your, your, the camp for you guys tonight, too. We should go figure that out while we got some daylight. Yeah. How and, bad's that camp? It ain't too bad. You want to take a look? Yeah. I mean, with cots and stuff, I, I brought... I they almost probably got, got a bed. Well, let's go look. Sleeping bag. Let's go look. See what you guys think. You, did you lock it, Donnie? No, uh, I, no. I don't think we locked it. I got the keys if we did. Yeah, take a look. See what you guys think. I feel like you have drunk when you hit the first round of the porch, Josh. Yeah, you know, she needs a little help. I, I guess we did lock it, Donnie. I didn't lock it. I didn't lock it. Huh. The keys are in the. Truck. I got. Yeah, I got the keys. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> score. <laughs> Show the folks at home the score. Found a sweet shutter seat. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of mouse action, but it's okay. Man, what'd she do? Settle a little more, Donnie? Probably. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Dark as the hinges of hell in here. Holy! Is it hot in here? Look, the mice have been squirrels on the table. Think? Oh, that won't bother you none. We got plenty enough on that top shelf. Get us to sleep. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> all <of> that. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Your, your call. Leave that door open. Oh, it's hell in there. Leave that door yeah. open and we'll make do. Probably open the window with this thing, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's necessary. We'll leave a few things open and maybe a few critters will move along. There was a couple squirrels in here. I ain't yeah. scared of that. that propane lantern right there, Cameron. We got good lights. Big globe propane. Yeah. One over your head. 
Put a little light in on the situation. God it's mighty, it's hotter than hell in here. This one opened. This don't scare me, old Joe. Okay. You'll be the first of the group to sleep in the old. There's been a mouse cross here, I think. Well, Donnie and I left that plate last time. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was a couple weeks ago. A, A mouse? Drink enough of that gin, you'll be fed alone with them. <laughs> Pretty waterproof tent, is it? Yeah, canvas. We're gonna find out. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna find out. You'll be the second to know. Yep. I'm just looking at that EPDM rubber camera and wondering. <laughs>